Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss the sizing of earth conductor and equipotential bonding conductor as per DIVA and ADDC regulation. As in DIVA and ADDC regulation, the selection of ECC conductor that is earth continuity conductor and the equipotential bonding conductor that is EBC conductor has the same rule. Meaning, depending on the phase conductor, what would be the equipotential conductor size and what would be the ECC conductor size will be same in DIVA regulation as well as in ADDC regulation. Here, you can see one appendix 9 which is given in the DIVA regulation and here there is one table 54.7 which is also given in ADDC regulation. So let us start this video to know how to select the ECC conductor size and the equipotential conductor size depending on the phase conductor size. From this table, it is very clear that the first heading is written as cross section area of phase or neutral conductor. So S here representing the cross section area of phase conductor or neutral conductor. Here if you can see that in second row heading, it is mentioned that minimum cross section area of ECC conductor that is earth continuity conductor and in the third row you can see that the minimum cross section area of the equipotential bonding conductor. So based on the earth conductor size or neutral conductor size we have to select the ECC conductor size that is earth continuity, continuity conductor size and equipotential bonding conductor size. So DIVA is stating here when the phase size conductor is less than 16 square mm then the ECC wire size will be S means equal to the phase size conductor and in second column it is mentioned that when the phase conductor size is less than 60 greater than 16 square mm and less than 35 square mm then the ECC size will be 6 square, 16 square mm and when the phase conductor size is greater than 35 square mm then we have to select the ECC size will be S by 2. Let me give you example to better understand this one. Suppose I will take an example which will follow this one. So suppose I have a conductor size of 4 square mm which is a phase conductor size. Then what would be the ECC conductor size? ECC conductor size will be also 4 square mm. Why I am saying it also will be same as the phase conductor? Because as per the rule it is written when the phase conductor is up to 16 square mm then the ECC conductor will be same as the phase conductor size. Now let us take another example. Suppose I have 16 square mm cable okay then the ECC conductor size will be 16. Why it will be 16? Because when the conductor size is 16 between 16 and 35 then the ECC size conductor will be 16. Here it is mentioned will be 16. Now let us take another example. In this case I have the phase conductor size of 70 square mm okay then the ECC size will be half of the phase conductor size so it will be 70 by 2 then it will be coming as 35 square mm so the ECC size will be 35 square mm hope you got this point very clearly if you understood clearly that how to select the ECC size conductor depending on the phase or neutral conductor then please write in the comment box for a ECC conductor size when the phase conductor size is 25 square mm okay now let us discuss how to select the equipotential bonding conductor depending on the phase and neutral conductor here dy state that if the phase conductor size is less than 16 square mm then the equipotential bonding conductor size will be 6 by 2 square mm but not less than 6 square mm i will explain you and DIY state in a second row that if the phase conductor size is in between 16 and 35 square mm then the equipotential bonding conductor size will be 10 square mm and when the phase conductor size is greater than 35 square mm then the ECC sorry the equipotential bonding conductor size will be S by 4 square mm but not exceed 25 square mm. We will take an example to better understand this one. Suppose I have a conductor size of 6 square mm okay which is a phase conductor size okay then what would be the equipotential bonding conductor as per the rule as the phase conductor size is less than 16 then the equipotential bonding conductor will be S by 2 so 6 by 2 then it will be coming as 3 square mm okay 
but here it is saying we got the value 3 square mm but saying not less than 6 means even though the value came as 3 square mm we have to select the cable size equipotential cable size as 6 square mm the only little difference in the diva regulation and in ADDC regulation is that we can go for 4 square mm also suppose I am designing the equipotential bonding conductor in diva and my equipotential calculated bonding conductor size came as 3 square mm then in case of diva I have to select 6 square mm but when I am designing the same cable size in for Abu Dhabi project then I have to take the equipotential bonding conductor as 4 square mm now let us take another example to better understand this one in this case I have a conductor size of 6 square mm okay which is a phase conductor size then the equipotential bonding conductor size will be s by 2 10 by 2 that is 5 square mm okay so as per diva regulation as the calculated value came as 5 square mm though we have to select a cable which is going to be used for equipotential bonding will be 6 square mm but in case of Abu Dhabi we can select a cable not this time 4 square mm but 6 square mm okay because our calculate we have to select the cable one higher range of the calculated volume or if the calculated value came as a, as a standard cable size then we can select the same cable size hope you understood this one now let us take one more example suppose the phase conductor size is 16 square mm then the equipotential bonding conductor will be s by 2 okay so it will be coming as 16 by 2 that is the 8 square mm but we don't have any standard cable size 8 square mm so we will go for the next standard size it would be then 10 square mm now let us take another example to understand this second row in this case I have a cable size of 20 square mm okay 20 square mm then the equipotential bonding conductor will be as our phase conductor is satisfying the second row that is it is lying between 16 and 35 square mm then the equipotential bonding conductor directly will be 10 square mm 10 square mm okay now let us take another example to understand this third row suppose in this case I have a cable size of 240 square mm okay 240 square mm which is lying which is satisfying this condition that the cable phase conductor size is greater than 35 square mm then the equipotential bonding conductor size will be 240 by 4 okay so it will be 60 square mm okay but here rule clearly said whatever be the cable size after 25 square mm use the equipotential bonding conductor size of 25 square mm so we will use only 25 square mm even though the calculated cable size came as 20, uh, 60 square mm let us take another example of a smaller cable here I will say it is a 70 square mm cable okay then the equipotential bonding conductor will be 70 by 4 here it is mentioned s by 4 70 by 4 so it will be coming as 17.5 square mm then 17.5 square mm cable is not a standard size cable so we will use a higher cable size then the next higher size cable is 20 square mm so we will use 20 square mm cable and it is satisfying the second condition also that is not exceeding 25 square mm cable hope you understood clearly how to do the selection for the ECC cable size, earth continuity cable size and for the equipotential bonding conductor size. If you want to know what is the difference between the ECC conductor size conductor and the equipotential bonding conductor then watch my video. I already posted one video regarding the same topic along back. I will share the link in the description box. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please press the bell icon for the future videos update. We will meet in any other video. Till then, keep learning and bye-bye.